Welcome to my challenge where two girls who have been best friends since kindergarten try to make it from the top of Florida over 500 miles to the bottom of Florida in toy cars. We're attempting the Guinness World Record for the longest journey by toy car and the day before yesterday we made it 135 miles to a Hyatt in Daytona Beach. But we've been a bit held up because of a big issue with my car. This is my toy car, except it's broken right now. 15 days ago we left on a 500 mile journey down the entire coast of Florida in toy cars. Right now we're 135 miles in in Daytona Beach. We've been stuck here for over 24 hours because the wheel of my car fell off when we got here. And ever since it's been propped up on these pillows. But Fred always overnighted us a spare wheel so we're gonna put it on now. We need to get on the road because today looks like the last day without rain for a hot minute. And our checkout's in 39 minutes. Moment of truth. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. I see a wheel with a bearing. That's one of the things we need. Oh, okay, no. Is everything in it? Oh, no. Is everything in the wheel, maybe? Chassis. Please say everything's in the wheel. Oh. Yes? Wait, wait, wait. I think so. Yeah, wait, here. Yeah. Looks like they got it. Looks everything. like it. All right, so we got to get this on the car and hopefully get on the road. We got the nut, the washer, the wheel, and the bearing. So that's the new tire. That's right. the old tire. Honestly, it doesn't look like we've worn down the first tire that much. It's just gray instead of black at this point. We just noticed that the new tire is a little bit smaller than the old tire. Like, see how this one sticks up more on top? I'm going to message Fredo Toys now and just make sure that's not going to cause any issues. Because the little size difference makes me a little worried. But we're running out of time, so we just got to get this on the car. are tightening it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. When we try to tighten the wheel, it moves this entire axle in the back, so it's not actually tightening. The thing in the back there, it's not supposed to be moving. Well, we wait to hear back from the manufacturer. I'm gonna finish packing up because we are not ready to go yet. Still have all of this stuff out and 19 minutes until checkout. They told us if we check out late, it's gonna be $45. We gotta take the tire back off. We're trying to put the mechanism from the new tire into the old tire. Did we try, did we tighten yours on that car yesterday? We went back and forth with Fredo Toys and they ended up walking us through exactly how to fix the tire with a new car. It was finally tightening down exactly as it was supposed to. So we're about to leave down on the elevator and I see Lauren starting to look like she's panicking and I wasn't really sure why. So when we got to this hotel, there was two elevators. There's this elevator, which is big and fits the cars. And then there's this elevator, which for some reason is small. Just say that it's the doorway that's small. The doorway is tiny and it doesn't fit the cars. It only fits in this one. I'm gonna go to the front desk now and see when whoever's gonna fix this elevator is coming out. Hopefully it's like really, really, really soon, like today, like within an hour. Hello, quick question. Do you know when that elevator is gonna be fixed? Are they coming today? But you don't know what time? Okay. The front desk sent me away with two guys from the maintenance crew to help us get the cars in the small elevator. They didn't really understand the issue until they saw it themselves. This was a nightmare. We had to fully unpack the cars onto the ground in the hallway so the empty cars could be transported sideways into the elevator. Once both cars went downstairs, we had to get everything from the ninth floor that was on the ground in the hallway to the first floor. Issue is, we didn't have any bags, so we had to load the elevator with our individual items. It felt like we packed to go to a hotel but forgot the suitcase. Until we see if my tire is working properly, I'm gonna keep this tire. I'm just gonna keep it next to me while I'm driving because I don't wanna throw it out and then find out that we really need it. So I'm trying to pack the car and still fit everything with a whole nother tire in here, which I've never had to do before. It's gonna be a little cramped. That was absolutely exhausting. Me and Lauren were just trying to get in and out of that elevator as quickly as possible so we wouldn't inconvenience everyone else who wanted to get on the elevator. But there was so much stuff and it's not our fault the elevator is broken. So now before we head out for the day, I need food. I have this leftover Publix wrap. I feel like it's the move right now. I'm 
gonna take this car on a test drive right now around the parking lot. I just need to make sure that the new tire is working properly. I just called the hotel for tonight and I asked them if there's any rooms available. They said there's only one room left. So if I want it, I need to book it now, but I don't want to book it until I know that this car is working properly. So we're gonna go try to drive it. And if it's working, we'll be able to secure a hotel room for tonight. Going outside. All right, test drive time, baby. Working. I don't want to test it for too long because today we are definitely pushing making it to the hotel before the battery runs out. We're going like 15 and a half miles, which is more than we went to get here. And when we got to this hotel, my battery was dying. So today we might have two options. Either Lauren's gonna have to pull me with duct tape and tow me to the hotel because she has two more batteries than I do. If you missed the past vlogs, I don't have a spare set of batteries anymore because I almost set my car on fire and fried them. The second option is we stop to charge, but it'll take at least an hour to not even charge it fully. Just to get a little bit to maybe make it. I'm gonna go back in the hotel. I'm gonna go take a little bit of a breather, finish eating, drink some water. Me and Lauren both need a little bit of a reset because this morning was so frantic. And then we'll be on the road because it's almost 2 p.m. So it's getting a little late for us to push this mileage today, but we really just need a little bit of a reset first. So we're gonna take like 30 minutes, even if it's maybe a bad idea. Let's go back in. We are in the clear, baby. We feel rested up. We are leaving way too late from this hotel. It's like almost 4 p.m. Which we could really pay for later, but we're feeling good right now. Will we be stuck in the dark tonight? I really hope not. But I'm gonna go pull out of the hotel now and we're gonna get on the road. Here Lauren comes. She has to back up because the wet floor signs in her way. She's trying to go all the way around just to not move the wet floor sign. There she is. Sorry. Because Guinness World Records needs to know where we are at, at all times. Let's start this drive and hope we don't end up in the dark today. Before we leave, we have to go take a picture with that Hyatt sign. Also to prove where we are right now. We are officially heading out of Daytona. You can't see it because I have makeup on, but my face is so sunburned from the other days. So I just tried to put on sunscreen while I was driving and I almost slammed into a wall. I wish we could go in here, but this is where the real cars enter the beach. We don't want to do that. Okay, I'm lying. We do want to do that, but we're not going to because we don't want to get sand and salt underneath the car and start messing up the mechanisms. But Daytona Beach is one of the few places where you're allowed to drive on the beach. We technically could, but we won't. So we're going to be careful. These cars have to make it all the way to Key West. So for whatever reason, I feel like Lauren has to stop way less often than I do. I don't know what it is, but I feel like if I lose something on this entire world record out of my backpack, it's gonna be because of how many times I try to open my backpack while I'm trying to drive on the sidewalk. Like every two seconds I need something. One second I need sunscreen, then I'm trying to put it on while I'm driving so I don't fall behind her. The next second I need sunglasses or a hat. Like I always need something on this backpack and I'm always trying to open the zipper while I'm driving and I just feel like at any moment something's gonna fall out. Something's going to, I mean we have two months of this so it's gonna happen. I think. Let's hope not. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day, so we're not sure if we're gonna be able to drive. The weather is looking horrible literally all day, but whenever day we start driving again after today, we're headed into the middle of nowhere. So today we're hoping to stock up on some food, get everything we need, because after this there's like no stores, no restaurants or anything. We're leaving the coast and going into the center of Florida. And you know what's in the center of Florida? Orlando. But you know what else is in the center of Florida? In the majority of the center of Florida? Absolutely nothing. The sidewalk ended on this side, so we're waiting to cross here. No one's stopping even though it's a crosswalk. No one's stopping. It's the law. You're supposed to stop. Thank you. It's that toy car road rage line. Let it out. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're in danger out here, Patsy. <laughs> when people don't stop at the crosswalks, I'm now referring to it as toy car road rage. <laughs> So two bad things just happened. The first one was is we're always so hectic just filming and doing things on our phones. Lauren didn't notice we were going in the wrong direction. <laughs> but that's okay. It means we're definitely not gonna make it on a charge today. We are definitely gonna need to stop and charge. But we're gonna turn around now. Thank God she didn't notice later. We went two miles in the completely wrong direction. Now we're 17 miles away from the hotel instead of 15 where we started. We just turned around, now we're going in the right direction. 
right direction, but there's no longer any miracles. There's a 0% chance that we will not need to charge at this point. <laughs> My car can't make it. We've already went two miles and to go 17 more is 19 miles. That is definitely not the range on this toy. So we're going back the other way and hopefully we find a good spot to charge a little bit further down the road. <laughs> Once we get a little bit closer, we're gonna drive as far as we can so the car feels like it's dying and then hope there's a spot to charge it. This was a big mistake. Now I can't really blame Lauren for the mistake today at all. Cause I'm the one on a previous day who almost set my car on fire. I don't know who saw that day, but it was bad. My batteries were literally any minute from setting on fire when we found them. So I guess going four miles out of the way, which is about an hour and a half, isn't the worst mistake made on this trip. So it's gonna be a bit before we make up that ground. Maybe another 45 minutes till we're back in the same spot we were before. And then we'll be going inland. We should have known though, we've been lining the beach this whole time and we're supposed to be going inland. We're not supposed to see the beach again for a few days, so definitely should have realized that. that Ponce Inlet sign that we were taking a photo of, my tripod broke. And it's the second time that's happened on this trip. The third leg of it fell off. I ordered another one to the hotel tonight and it should arrive tomorrow, hopefully early in the morning, please, please, please. That means today I might have a little bit less cool video less driving by and a little bit more video just in my car. I think there's about a 0% chance that we're gonna make it in daylight. I'm almost positive it has to be dark by the time we get there. Because if you do even just simple math on it, we go two to three miles an hour normally. The cars go a lot faster than that, but with all the stop goes and crosswalks, it's usually two to three miles an hour. And we're 17 miles away. That's like five or six hours of driving, which would be three hours at night. But maybe if we book it, we can change the stats here and up our average speed, fingers crossed. Because we're going into the middle of nowhere, which I feel like could get really scary at night. But what are you gonna do? There's no hotel before that and we already booked it, which we never do. We never book hotels in advance, but for some weird reason today, we did. Well, I know why. They only had one room left. It's only a king size bed, so we're sharing a bed tonight. All the other rooms available were on the second floor, but they only had stairs to get up, and there's a 0% chance we're gonna carry this upstairs. That would be impossible. Looks like there's a bridge coming up up here. We have to cross here, because I think there's a bike lane on the other side. There's a bike lane on this side, but I think we're supposed to use one on the other side. We're gonna go find it. Side note, I just saw a comment that said we were on Fox News in Tampa today. Apparently that's a thing, but they didn't interview us. Yep, there's the bike lane, and we're in it. To the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We are back on the sidewalk, baby. So buildings, as the chemicals, they take us higher. Fits like this make me so nervous. We just barely fit on both sides. We wanna chase the night. Wanna dance to the night. We just pulled over because a cop pulled up next to us. And at first she was like, oh my god, are we doing something wrong? But we were pretty sure we weren't because we were in the bike lane and he pulled over and said, guys, you're not doing anything wrong. I wasn't pulling you guys over. I'm just so curious what you guys are doing. So we told him and he absolutely loved it. So he radioed another cop who already knew about us. Like they saw us on social media. So they came and they signed our witness book. Woo! They told us to just head on our merry way. But yeah, we weren't in trouble. We're in the bike lane. Woo! Totally legal. We're back on the road. We're out of the bike lane and onto the sidewalk, baby. Our batteries are dying so bad. And there's a bar right here, so we're gonna see if they let us charge. Please say yes. This is where we're at. We're gonna go ask inside. Um, we're doing a Guinness World Record attempt for the longest distance by toy car. Uh, it's like a charity thing, but we're almost out of charge. We really use an outlet to try to like fill them up. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Are we okay? Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, thank you. Just so a regular plug-in. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. They said yes. to go and we are off i'm getting bit up from mosquitoes like crazy right now i probably have like 10 bites that's gonna suck i'm gonna be a long night itching but we are leaving now the mosquitoes 
eating that and the sun's going down. Off we go. We are passing the airport. It looks like a very tiny airport. I can't use my normal wide angle lens because when I do, it's just too dark out here to see me. So I'm using my phone with a flash right now. So I'm sorry if I'm cut off a little bit during these clips, but hopefully you can still hear me. We've been living in luxury for a few days now. Flying in the beach, the beautiful towns. Now we are starting to head into the middle of nowhere. It's definitely one of the scarier parts of our route. And it's definitely making me a little bit uneasy, especially at night. The cop told us that the only motel that we could actually reach in these toy cars tonight, he arrests a lot of people at. So we are a little bit worried, especially driving through just the middle of nowhere for a hot minute. I guess it wouldn't be a challenge if it didn't make you uneasy sometimes, right? Oh, it's getting like pitch dark out here. Okay. Lauren's putting on her glasses now because bugs just keep shooting into our eyes. My mouth. <laughs> she said keep closing our mouths because bugs are going in right now. I didn't notice, but probably because I have the safety glasses on because dirt keeps getting kicked up in my face from the cars. But now that she mentioned it, maybe what I thought was dirt was actually bugs. I'm getting so many bugs in my eyes, even with the safety glasses on. Like I feel like chunks of bugs going into my eyes right now. It's not great. I think we're like four miles away now. The sidewalk just ended, so we're trying to figure out what to do. Looks like problem is solved. We're gonna go that way. Thank gosh that Fredo Toys has headlights, man. These things are a lifesaver. We're about one mile away. Almost there, baby, finish line. She had to get out because she hit this and it scraped the car in the bottom of the car so bad. It sounded horrible. that we made it yes we made it to the motel i'm gonna go check in now i gave my credit card over the phone so we should have a room available but they only had a king size bed so we're getting cozy tonight cars lauren's watching them hmm. it says ring for service but no one's coming no one's answering the door so i'm a little bit worried got the key this is the motel apparently the room is right over there on the bottom floor thank god because we cannot go upstairs honestly it's pretty nice we got a full kitchen a whole living room and our king size bed and if we were really ballsy we could even try to get the toy car in the closet it'd be a tight fit though we'd have to turn it sideways i like it now the real question is though do they have good wi-fi coming soon we gotta get the cars in Officially the end of day 15, baby. We unpacked into this giant room. My biggest concern with this place is that I'm gonna lose stuff because we have a lot of stuff we pack in and out of those toy cars. And this place is massive. It would be so easy to leave something here. We officially hit $1,000 on Instagram that we've raised towards saving animals. I'm still living in the future, so in my time we've raised almost $500 on YouTube and $630 on TikTok. And I haven't added up how much we sold in our merch, but I feel like a lot of orders have been coming in. So I'm really excited to find out and pack them on TikTok Live. And I might even do a YouTube Live too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That is officially the end of day 15. We will see you guys tomorrow for day 16 of this world record attempt. The weather is looking really bad for tomorrow. Like it's saying it's gonna rain all day. We're gonna check it again when we wake up and see if we are able to get on the road. I really hope we're able to, but if the rain just doesn't allow us to do it, then we're gonna be stuck right here in this room. Up to you guys for day 16 and let's hope that we can go on the road. Please, 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 please. All right, love you guys, bye. Now it's time to go over the logbook for day 15. Here's day 15. So it all started off at the Hyatt Place in Daytona Beach at 3.34 p.m. when we took this photo. Then we stopped at the Ponce in the sign which was the wrong way at 5 40 p.m we weren't even supposed to be here but it's a really cute photo then we got stopped by the police at 5 40 p.m because they were wondering what we were up to and these are the gps coordinates we were stopped at 
and they were awesome and they signed our witness books and ended up really loving us. Then we stopped to charge up at this restaurant, um, which was in New Smyrna, Florida. Then we stopped for the night in Edgewater, Florida at the All Suites Motel after a crazy long day at 8.59 p.m. And all the receipts from the day are in here. And for anyone who wants even more info, we are 154 miles into this journey. Miles until we break the record is 343 miles. Miles left until the finish line, because the finish line is further than when we break the record officially, is 447 miles. And the ending point is the All Suites Motel in Edgewater, Florida.